So we're we gonna find this salt on wounds, fella. Salt on wounds. Wounds. Yeah. Uh, he's all the way in the corner. That's me in the corner. Well, we can't fast travel. Why not? Why not? You mean we gotta run the whole way? Oh my god. It's not available. Let's uh, leave the area and see if we can... Uh, I guess it's because we got to take this fellow with us. Who's he shooting at? Oh, hello. It's an ambush. We need a long ranged weapon for this one. Was that old ladies? Was it? I think that was an old lady ambush group. Oh no, a head came off. Oops. Hello. Hello. What do you have? Anything good? No? Right. Onwards. Don't warn anyone coming down here. There's a head. Oh, <laughs> blew this one up as well. <coughs> Ooh, 45 automatic pistol. So we can't... Uh, looks like oh, they want us to go through the, all the ambushes. That's what it is. Fine, I'll walk through all your ambushes. Probably some traps too. Let's have a, that bitter drink. Tastes like lemon juice. I see. A native, an angry native. They're throwing shit. <laughs> That didn't work. Bam! Another head rolling. Just another head rolling. Rolling down here. And a leg too. The carnage. Plasma grenade. Why didn't she open with the plasma grenade, silly woman? Could have done a lot more damage. Oh well. Lucky us, yes, eh? Did it. Are we still overweight? No, nope, we're fine. And why am I why am I going so slowly? Oh, the weight is still over. Gonna eat all this banana yucca. Still have weight. Let's uh, condense these. Nine millimeter. Lots of twelve. Twelve millimeter submachine guns. Lots. With that. Oh, that. Yay, we're below weight again. I might try the submachine gun actually. Just for fun. Since we have so many. 
We don't have that many bullets actually for it, but it keeps dropping. Well, hello there. Hello, friend. Good. Good. It is good. Hmm, left or right? Probably stay on the right hand path. I'll keep my gun out because you never know. Yep. Just walking through ambush after ambush, this is smart. Oh, beautiful. At least if one of these hits, it's guaranteed to hurt a lot. And look, one of his gibs fell down and now we can loot his gib. Ooh, firebomb. Healing powder. Purify water. To wash it down. To meet your maker. Meet your baker. Dark Datura. Weapon binding ritual. Okay. Whatever that is. Whoa. Ow. Oh, shot. <clears throat> Gotta say he's a good shot, this fella. That guy had a riot shotgun, my favorite weapon. Okay. And we're gonna condense those riot shotguns. If we can. Let's see. We've got two. Where's the riot shotgun? There we are. Prepare riot shotgun with riot shotgun. To make over riot shotgun. I'm gonna figure out where we are again. Ah, oh, yeah, we just need to follow this road. Though it kind of goes left. Hello. Now you Poor donkey. He didn't make it. Brock flower. We need some broccoli. Let's switch out our weapon to something. We have a few more bullets on. Maybe a 9mm or something. Need some kind of long range gun. I guess back to hunting rifle maybe. 308. I don't have many 308 rounds though. How about the gauze rifle? We've got loads of that. <coughs> not very good, but hey. Oh, we're not very good with it, so. Yeah, let's just keep following the path. Firebombs. Oh man. This is stuns, isn't it? Took a couple of hits there. See all our brock flour. I'll take care of that. Maybe. <laughs> hey, thanks for the 12 gauge rounds.
Oh, just can, just can carry that. Okay, we just need to cross this bridge, and then I guess we need to go around actually, down here, and in. It's like got a direct line, but it doesn't work that way, does it? We should go to the water actually. In the water. Since we're following the river now. Following the river this way. And it looks like this is going to be the final showdown. Hmm. Got 50 XP. Ooh, who's fire? Oh, well done. Oh, she had a sniper rifle. Damn, I want her ammunition. I can't get up there though. Why do you have to shoot her up there, dude? Why do you have to shoot her up there? Huh? I want that sniper rifle ammo. Someone there. Boy. Oh. She was right there. Didn't even see it. Yep, just gotta follow the river and take the take it when it forks to the right. Loaded. Nice. But it's fun to use. It may not be very practical, though. Oh, there's another one of them hiding there. Another 45. To go with our collection of 45s. Yeah, 45 submachine gun. It's alright. Caution. Oh, he's got a shish kebab. You had a shish kebab. Just going to use this to pick off the small fry. Because uh, we're going to be facing the going to be facing the the big guys soon enough. Let's take some. Moonshine, yeah. Hmm. 
Here's the entrance. So. Let's check the old map. Okay. This is the place, so. Now, if I was them, I'd have guys on all those, those rocky outcrops rather than back there. Because this is the this is the place to kill someone. You got no chance. If they if you had like five guys shooting down, you'd be dead. There's no cover. What's wrong with these tribesmen? Is they got no ideas of basic tactics. I mean, Indians used to use these tactic tactics to. Oh, it's our friend. Look. Hey. It's the final attack. At least we're not alone for the final attack. So the whole tribe's here, good. Okay, time to get serious, I reckon. We don't want too many of them dying. That would suck. Uh, so we're gonna use... Let's see, one, we're gonna try and use our most powerful weapons, like submachine gun. It's pretty good. Not too accurate, but we, we get plenty of ammo for this, so... Let's clear them out. Okay, looks like the first encampment's been cleaned out. Let's see what goodies they left us. Oh, hello! Trying to loot here. It was a type when you're trying to loot. I don't know why they're so protective. There's pretty much junk here. Like one cap. Anyway. Let's take these sons of bitches down. Actually, I'm gonna switch it out again. We all seem to hit them long range as usual, so. Yeah, hunting shotgun. Laser rifle, maybe? DPS 96. Mmm, got some long fuse dynamite here. Should be good for la. Let's use it underwater. Whoa! Crap. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. Oh, now I'm alone. Great. Why don't we just blow it up with dynamite? Or is that too much like common sense? Oh, can't we just jump over it? It doesn't seem very high up. This this blockage doesn't seem too bad. No traps here. That's interesting. I guess we follow the light, lighted tiki torches. We discovered the Three Marys Cavern, so I guess we need to go through this.
Why have I got no action points? I have got action points. What the hell? Why can't I shoot the guy? What the hell's going on? I can't do anything. This is weird. Fine, I'll heal up first then. I don't know what's what the beef is. Yeah, I could I couldn't I couldn't target him at all. Can I target him please? Thank you. Get out of my face. How dare you? There's another one. Hello! Your face! Goodness me. That was messy. Hey, plasma grenade. The dynamite's a bit slow. That's the problem. How many grenades do I have? Three plasma grenades. Not four. I'm out really maybe if I sneak I can If I sneak I can hopefully get one off before. That's just shish kebab. That's what that guy was hitting me with. Also could use a bit of aid. Healing power to go on. Let's stay hidden. Not sure what we're supposed to be doing in this cave. I guess it's just like a way around, hopefully. Don't see any bad guys right now. Packs. That's in the sack. A bit of food. And send some module. Guess that's the way out. Maybe. Camera. Ooh, an explosive case. Like one frag grenade, how generous. How friggin' generous. Can't we get out that way? Aww. Really? So this is a dead end. Huh. Just a little bit of ammo and stuff. The local map. Ah, there's another way. I think. Right down this way, is it? Is that the right way? Nope. This is the. Down this way. We haven't been down here before. Let's see if we can, hopefully we can surprise them, throw some dynamite at them. That would be fun. Focus off a little bit here. What's this? This is... Instamash! That's a bit of food. Quick partial, a bit of mash. A bit of moonshine as well. The insta mash doesn't last long, does it? 
Hey, exit. So we through to the other side then. Yep, I think so. What's that aircon unit doing out here? Just in case you want any air conditioning in the in the desert. Let's see where we are. Oh, according to this, it's this way. So we Did we... Ooh, hello. They started putting traps down. They must have heard what I said. It's like, put traps down. Secure the perimeter. Where's the guys in the rocks, you know? A few lousy bear traps ain't gonna stop me. Oh, we're gonna have a drink, are we? Yeah. Mmm, radioactivity. Disarm bear trap. Any more bear traps for us? Doesn't seem so. There's some bad guys down there. Hopefully we can rain time them out down upon them. That's one of our guys. Nothing. Huh. Oh, I'll throw one anyway. Whee! Explosions. We're coming, bitches. Let's get down. Need to go up this. With the torch lights. High ground's good to have. Let's have a look at the thing. Yeah, it's still in the sun of the enemy. to the second one. Day are you? Day are you? Die by dynamite. <laughs> almost dead. You almost died, didn't you? Let's try again. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and now you've got all the pieces of me, I know. I have that effect on women. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Where's your friend? I think your friend was gibbed a lot worse. There's nothing left. <laughs> right. Oh, I wish I had better 9 milli stuff. I don't have very good 9 milli gear. Some healing power, power to go. We got this paint gun here. Good old Sten gun. We got friends coming. Let's have a look. We're almost there, guys. We're right there. The moon shines just war. Walked into that one. Wow, these guys are tough. Not tough enough. Keep 
keep my eyes open for these damn bear traps they get hanging around. Hey, there's our friend. So they played it out pretty well. What's that down there? I don't know. We didn't need this vantage point after all. Wow. These guys are doing the job for us. I don't like that. We're supposed to, we're supposed to be doing the work. Oh. I guess it's their fight. So. It's their fight, so. Only right they do most of the work. I guess. Well done, guys. Need another camp. They got a tricycle. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got target set up. Yeah. The cans don't work. Why don't the cans don't work? Can't even shoot. Fuck you, typewriter. If you've ever used one, you'll understand. Is that one of the bad guys or the good guys? I think this is one of the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. damage I dare you keep on kill all my tribes dude Are they, all, are they all armed with melee weapons? That's kind of dumb. That's not going to help. I suppose we are in close quarters combat here, but still, it's not going to help. We're getting tantalizingly close now. I need to get the health up there. Some more healing powder. Some gecko meat. How's our rads doing? Well, it's not too high actually. Our weight's up. Damn it. What did I eat? I ate something that got a, a weight up. Yeah, let's see all this key fungus. There you go. No, nope, it's done a good enough. Did we pick up a weapon again? to lose some more weight but I don't want to drop anything. Oh we, we picked up a shish kebab though. That explains it. We don't need that. Handy personal rounds. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. 
And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's glory on earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene Conserva O. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man! Kuna man mad! He kill all white legs! You talk! You stop! <laughs> oh, this isn't what I signed up for, dude. Let me talk to him. You're right, we're gonna kill you, but not like this. Defend yourself. You can no nikumpa me. They are you. Oh, man. <laughs> I need to finish this guy off. Yeah, I saw the moon's finished. It's the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. But I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the white legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. Damn, dude. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough. And there is much to do. He's burning. He is the burning man. Wow. Did you see that? Brilliant white flame. Wow. Maybe he is a warrior of God or something. It's pretty fucked up. Let's get another five for energy weapons since we used them for longs. Uh, we need some more border skills. Definitely need some more sneaking skills. A bit more survival. And wow. so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites ambushes were hunted down by dead horses yeah. before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs diminished numbers reached the 80s tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the White Legs had been wiped out. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. When the courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. The Sorrow's transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Zion. But it was a small comfort. The Sorrow's innocence was lost. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. 
Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys, Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses in tending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least appeased. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. Oh, we're back just like that. Okay. Well, are we back in the Mojave now? Oh, we're on the outskirts. Okay. Wow. And we have a footlocker through all our light shining in darkness. And we can have Daniel's hat, apparently. Chalk's headdress. <laughs> Which gives a five melee weapon. A speech hat. Daniel's outfit. Joshua Graham's armor. Crit chance three. Some DT-15 in the Salt Bomb Wounds helmet. And his power fist. And a bit of scripture if we wanted. Okay. I think we need to get out of here. Departing Paradise, yeah. So, um, to sum up the endings, uh, I thought that was the best ending you could get, really. I mean, the tribes weren't really going to survive unless they, uh, unless they get with reality. Uh, and the reality is, uh, you know, this, this, let's take all the stuff I don't care if I'm over encumbered. Um, but yeah, the reality is, uh, you know, it's a harsh world, and you can't survive if you're, like, innocent and peaceful. I don't know what Martin was thinking, you know? It's like, this is the, the apocalypse, man. There's a nice grave here still. Yeah, it's the apocalypse, and uh, you're not going to survive unless you get tough. So, we did the right thing, I think. And as you heard, they prospered, so hey, win-win. Uh, we, we certainly did it. We managed to succeed. We managed to win the fight. And uh, they survived. And the White Legs didn't. So they got revenge and they survived. So I call that a win-win. And all it took was the price of Daniel's uh, faith. And he felt he's failed. But, you know, the guy was a bit of an idiot anyway. I mean, you know, if you live in a harsh, harsh environment with lots of violent people, you can't really afford to be peaceful. I don't think Martin was the right way to go. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Um, next up, I'm not sure. I'm, I think I'm going to go in order. I can't remember what's next, to be honest. It was like Dead Money, Honest Hearts, and I forget what the other one is. But I shall surely tell you when, uh, when I'm going to play it. I've got all the DLC, so I will be playing through all the DLC. And ooh, there's a bad guy over there. Oops. But yeah, I think I'm going to take a strength potion and go sell some stuff. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see anything else. Like see any of the games. Um, if you'd like to see something else, let me know. Um, I, I am planning on doing a mod section for this once I finish the DLC. Uh, this highlights some of my favorite mods. I don't use mods on the Let's Play because it crashes like all the time. Uh, so it, it, mods are something to play around with, but for regular gameplay, mm, it's not it's not reliable enough for me. But I certainly do love mods, and uh, wouldn't wouldn't mind showing my favorite ones. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.